Pete and I are going over some last minute things to add to our checklist before we head out on a fishing trip. There are a lot of things to consider before embarking on your Ontario fishing adventure, whether it's a drive to, train to, or fly in. Please consider taking a trip to an Ontario fishing lodge this year. Guarantee it, it's gonna be awesome. And in the process, you could be helping one of the many struggling operators during this crazy pandemic. I promise you, you won't regret it. Wow. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Ontario Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. Yes, we're in the sun, the fish in Canada. I got him, buddy. Oh, you found him. I found him. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Just in time, Pete and I are going over some last minute things to add to our checklist before we head out on a fishing trip. Although we've done this a million times over the past several decades, it does make sense to make a list. It could make the difference between a dream trip and a nightmare. Especially with a pair of forgetful knuckleheads like us. You know, through the years, we have forgotten just about everything from rainwear to footwear, underwear, rods, reels, fishing net, bug spray, sunglasses, you name it, we've forgotten it. One time, we even forgot the keys to the boat. <laughs> but the best one is, I got to Northern Ontario, we forgot our broadcast camera. That's why we need a list. <laughs> now, thankfully, a lot of this stuff we've been traveling with for years, but there are a few new items, a mask and lots of hand sanitizer, both of which we're hoping to get off the list as soon as possible. But for now, COVID-19 has made sure that they play a vital role in our lives. In our case, probably as important as our rods and reels. Good point, buddy. Now, although most lodge operators have implemented health and safety protocol to ensure the well-being of their guests and their employees, we say, take no chances. Uh -uh. Kick COVID in the butt. Be smart, be vigilant, and be safe. Now, when you get to your final destination, set up a virus-free bubble by disinfecting all frequently touched surfaces like door handles, fridge and oven handles, even utensils and dishes should be given a once over. Everything that you're gonna be coming in contact with should be given a quick wipe. But don't limit this to just inside stuff. The camp boat and motor you'll be using will need the same proactive approach. Disinfect gunnels, seat backs, bailing buckets, throttle handles, starter and choke buttons, pull cords, and anything else you may be coming in contact with when out fishing and operating the boat. Hey, there's no denying that COVID-19 has had a negative impact on all of our lives, but there are some positives that have come of it. And one of them is the fact that more and more people are discovering the great outdoors, in particular, fishing. Without question, the most popular fishing destinations are drive-tos. Here in Ontario, we're lucky in that we have literally thousands of rubber tire trips to choose from. Here's a sample of what you can expect. We are very family friendly. We host guests from all around the globe. People come here and they're looking for a truly Northern Ontario fishing lodge experience with clean amenities and gourmet dining in a truly historic Canadian setting. Beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. A oh, couple of spectacular jumps as they always do. We defy you to try and find a cooler place to overnight than this one, Bruce Bay Cottages and Lighthouse. Even if you're not into fishing, this destination has a very unique accommodation experience in that you can overnight in the authentic lighthouse that sits high atop McKay Point overlooking beautiful Lake Huron. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> I don't know if believe in that or not, I can't tell you that. It's not bad, I'll, I'll, I'll sling him up. Oh, actually, <laughs> almost needed a net on that one. <laughs> this is Sounds. nuts. This is crazy. Look at that. For the most part, drive twos are popular because they're economical, no restrictions on luggage, and ideal for bigger groups like families and friends. These are those special moments that stay with you a lifetime. Oh, look at that fish, buddy. Oh, oh my God. The scar yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's virtually no end to the drive to options in Ontario. You're limited only by how far you're willing to drive. For us, distance isn't a concern if the final destination promises outstanding fishing. 
That brings us to one of our mutual favorite drive-to destinations, Sunset Country in Northwestern Ontario. It's a phenomenal fishery. We rate Anderson's as one of the top lodges in all of Ontario. With great accommodations, meals, and access to world-class fishing, it gets no better. Oh, whoa, there was one. That a boy. Does it feel good? I am. I think we better grab the net. Yeah, I believe this is net worthy. Yes, it is. Done. Nice there, work. There's nothing wow. wrong with that northern right there. Hey? <laughs> okay. There is nothing wrong with that northern right there. We don't even think twice about towing the Prince Craft along for the 20 hour drive from our office in southern Ontario. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a rod, big fish. Yeah, that's a big fish. Like a good one. I can tell that rod is just working it. Oh, look at that fish, buddy. Holy oh, my holy. God. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a big one, Pete. Put the scar yes. on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Look at oh, the yeah. size. Oh, right there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now, can you imagine, folks, Ooh. a lake full of predators this size? Yeah. Because that's what this lake is. This They're lake is all known, yeah. big. They're yep. just no small fish. They're known for this right here and even bigger, like even bigger than this. So. This is what we go fishing for. Oh, this is man. it right there. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that's what we're coming up to Hawk Lake right there. That's for. a Hawk Lake fish. Yes! Dude, that's a big, big, big Ooh. fish. Like, wow. That, that is, is a 10 pounder. Oh, look at the length of that fish. I believe last year there were over 320, 28 inch plus walleye caught on this small body of water. Small walleye, and that is due to catch and release by 100%. They throw every walleye back, be it this big, this big, or this big. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. That's a pig. Look at the size of that. Buddy, that's a 10 pounder. Gorgeous, that gorgeous walleye. My God, that's a big fish. <laughs> a lot of people have never caught a walleye never. that big, okay? They're, you say, we've heard stories of people catching, they got, I got an eight or a nine pounder, and reality is it's not an eight or nine. That was a true nine to 10 pound fish right there every minute of the day, and that's a wow. big, big walleye. Probably the biggest of most people's uh, lives. I as you can see, Hawk Lake truly is a phenomenal walleye fishery and a world-class travel destination. This didn't come by chance. It came through a vision and hard work. So the fishery has really exploded and done quite well under a nice management. And people have really, um, they've really enjoyed that. They respect that because they can go have a great day on the water, catch some trophy-sized fish. And I think that's been very successful. And I'm glad we did it because uh, it's a good model for other lodges, I think, to follow as well. Back to the lodge for a hell of a supper. Yeah, baby. Ooh, son. I like that. That will be awesome. This hot spot is a weed bed in a back bay that Steve and I discovered while on our trip to Lac Sewell. The waypoint on your screen will get you right there. This is one of the largest cabbage beds we found during our trip, and it most definitely held the biggest concentration of northern pike in that vicinity. We used a variety of baits, but a glide bait seemed to really trigger these pike into hitting. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. To get to today's outstanding trophy walleye fishing, we first drove north on Highway 400 to Highway 69. We then took Highway 17 northwest all the way past Dryden and just east of Kenora. We finally turned south on Hawk Lake Road, taking us to the beautiful Hawk Lake Lodge. This award-winning facility is absolutely perfect for a once-in-a-lifetime fishing trip. It pretty much has it all. Here we go. Look at that fish. That's a biker. <laughs> The next type of trip is a little more adventurous, a little more exciting, and in some cases, a little more expensive. The Ontario Fly-In Experience. This fishing trip is a must on any serious angler's bucket list. Whether you book into a main camp lodge or stay in a lake all by yourself, the fly-in to a remote lake is an adventure unto its own. The vistas just can't be beat. As hosts of the Fishing Canada Show, we've had the privilege of experiencing many fantastic fly-in fishing trips. The list is almost endless. 
Lausanne Aviation and their Hasty Lake Camp is arguably one of the best largemouth and smallmouth flying opportunities we've ever experienced. Oh my God, look at that smallmouth. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Although Lozon Aviation isn't a traditional lodge, we feel it deserves mention in any conversation about the quintessential Ontario fishing experience. Woo! That, my friends, is a smallmouth. For the past 50 years, Lozon Aviation has been a family-owned and operated business with access to seven different fly-in fishing locations in Northern Ontario. Nice fish. But once we had a taste of Hasty Lake's exceptional bass fishing, we couldn't help but go back time and time again. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Look how fat he is. I think just ate something. I think he ate a rat. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Nikita Air Service and the charming and rustic Eddie North's Attawapiskat Adventures offer some of the best fly-in pike fishing Ontario has to offer. There we go. Look at that bit. That's a pike. <laughs> it's, you know, he's skinny, but he's a gorgeous Beautiful gorgeous fish, isn't he? Fish. Big head. Look at the size of that head, Pete. Yeah, that's the thing. The wow. heads of these fish are incredible. <laughs> rope, rope. Yeah. <laughs> the wall. You okay? Yeah, I think so, buddy. Oh, look at that head. Look at that blind eye. You look. big beast. Whoa. Oh, yeah. See you, buddy. <laughs> and finally, one of our favorite types of fishing adventures, the train in. Traveling by rail has a certain charm unto its own. Here, speed is definitely not of the essence. The clickety-clack of the train wheels just adds to the fishing lodge experience. Our favorite train in Ontario destination is perhaps a bit of a cheat. That's because our pick, the famous Lodge 88, occupies a much deserved spot on two lists. Lodge 88 is a sublime fly-in fishing destination. We've made this flight a few times over the years, but for anglers with a little tighter budget or perhaps the fear of flying, they offer a training experience as an alternative. Regardless of which method of travel you choose, once you get there, you're destined to enjoy some of the best walleye fishing action of your life. Look at the size of this thing. Oh Bring my in. God, buddy. Bring him in. Look there you at go. that. That's the, way, that's the way you get Wally on the snoggy. <laughs> Holy How moly. How about that? Woo! <laughs> Got my line around your lens there. Wow. Oh, that's a good one, man. That is a nice looking fish. Boy, that guy fought like a I know. I thought train. it was bigger than I did too. Like he was. Well, not that there's anything driven. wrong with that. Oh, that's I mean, a big that, walleye. That's got to be a 22, 24 inch. Oh, oh he's, 20, he's more than 24. Is he? Well, we're going to oh, measure yeah. him. He is 27. Nice. What a wonderful spot this is, man. This lake is is unbelievable for us. It has been such a lucky lake. We come down, we go to that lodge right there and get the best lodge that we've ever been to. And we stick walleye like this, left, right, center. On a bad day, you'll still get a couple of these things. On a good day, oh, it's mayhem. Today's hotspot is a big underwater boulder in Hasty Lake. The waypoint on your screen will take you right there. Every time we came up on this rock, we saw big fish around it. This would be a phenomenal early season hotspot as big female bass will spawn directly beside the rock. Cast a tube jig right next to the boulder and hang on. To get to today's awesome walleye fishing, we first took Highway 400 north to Highway 69. We then took Highway 17 northwest to White River. We then turned right onto 631 and finally left on Tuckany Road to the White River Air Base. From there, it's a short flight into the luxurious Lodge 88. <laughs> right off the dock, right here on Lac Sewell, we're catching our dinner. One of the interesting aspects of these trips is that you could book most of them two different ways, the American plan and the housekeeping plan. The American plan option offers full daily food service, although with COVID-19 and social distancing, this may not be available in all locations. 
The American plan includes a hearty breakfast in the morning, a box lunch for out in the boat, and dinner served in the evening. Camps that offer fishing guides often throw in the classic Ontario shore lunch, a fried fish, for the midday meal at least once or twice during the stay. An authentic Ontario shore lunch is what most great fishing trips are made from. Obviously, all these services come at a cost. The American plan is the most expensive way to enjoy an Ontario fishing experience. Although it's great to have these exquisite meals without cooking and cleaning, the American plan does tie you up to a regular eating schedule served at a predetermined time. This is not optional, even if the fish are biting. So they just texted us from the lodge. They want to know what we want for supper, bison or chicken. Oh, yes. Housekeeping packages, on the other hand, provide lodging only, and you do your own cooking and cleaning. You bring your own supplies, you come in, you set up, and you let us know ahead of time what you need and we'll deliver. Now, what's really nice about this is that you come and go as you please, giving you the option of fishing early or late in the day, depending on weather conditions and how late the poker game ran the night before. You can also plan special meals that quickly become trip traditions among the group. Peter, I got another one for you. <laughs> right off the dock, right here on Lac Sewell, we're catching our dinner. What a perfect way to end the fishing day, eating fresh caught and cooked walleye with your fishing buddies. Generally speaking, these camps come equipped with a refrigerator freezer combination, a propane oven stove, a barbecue grill, and all the pots, pans, dishes, and utensils. You bring all the food. Don't forget the coffee or it's gonna be a long four days. Most housekeeping plans also feature a cabin with electricity, inside plumbing, hot and cold running water, and showers. However, some of the more remote fly-in camps, commonly referred to as outposts, only provide outside toilets or outhouses. Not everybody's cup of tea. Hey, what can I tell you? I need my porcelain in the morning. These remote camps also typically have limited to no electricity and rely on propane and or wood for heating and cooking. They usually require the guests to bring a sleeping bag, linens, and towels. In other words, this is truly roughing it. This is what all outback wilderness experiences should be. Your own lake without another human being in sight for days. So one final thing we'd like to leave you with during these incredibly uncertain times. Please, please consider taking a trip to an Ontario fishing lodge this year. Guarantee it, it's going to be awesome, and in the process, you could be helping one of the many struggling operators during this crazy pandemic. That's right, Pete, and these are good, honest, hardworking folks, many of whom own family-operated businesses for generations. Running a business like this isn't a job, it's a lifestyle. It was my father's dream, and now we're living it still in my generation, and I strongly believe that it's our responsibility to ensure that the resource is there for the next generations. My family uh, bought this resort back in 1975. We consider ourselves a wilderness vacation resort, which means it's, it's a place to come up and really enjoy everything there is about nature, from fishing and enjoying shore lunches and that kind of stuff, to watching bear and moose. It's, it's really getting in touch with nature. And I think, for the most part, people are really missing that in, in this today's world. Where else can you come and enjoy the fishing at its finest, get to hike on the trails, and the best view in the north. We want to keep it quiet, quaint, but we still want uh, individuals that love this region to come out and enjoy it. So please, consider them this year when you're looking for a place to invest that hard-earned vacation dollar. I promise you, you won't regret it. Catch you next week. Come on, buddy, we gotta get this stuff. This hotspot is a brake line that's just up river of the famous Narrows on Ontario's Lake Temiskimi. The waypoint on the screen will put you right on it. Since this is a brake line or drop off, I highly suggest trolling the area covering as much water as possible. Trolling crankbaits, spinners tipped with worms and even the old tried and true Canadian Wiggler are by far the best presentations here. However, drifting minnows works as well. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. To get the Pine Portage Lodge, we first took Highway 400 north from Toronto. We then took Highway 69 north to Sudbury. Next, we took Highway 17 northwest, and finally took Highway 101 to the Watson Skyway Air Base at Wawa Lake. 
From there, it's a short flight to the lodge. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Ontario Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. Closed captioning for this episode was brought to you by FishingCanada.com, the gateway to your next fishing adventure. <laughs>